Hey, welcome back to The Past is Alive. Thank you for tuning in. Tonight we are back with Turn Back the Clock Tuesday and moving forward a little bit in time and going back to the year 2000, the hobby box of Upper Deck. And this is a game jersey edition box. So I'm pretty excited to try to seek out some uh, high-end game used relics, maybe even some autos that we found in here. And uh, first glance, the front of the box here, try to find Big Mac's 500th home run game um, cards, I guess, are, that are in the game used cards, um, autographed jersey cards, and then Henry Aaron's 3,000 hit history cards. And we got some very, very small odds in the back here. Nice thing that they're magnified on here. But this is actually Series 2. It doesn't specify at all in the front of the box. But as you see here, cards number 271 to 540. So Series 2... Not the best. I mean, the whole set is kind of, I don't know, it's not too great. Um, obviously, your typical Hall of Famer, stuff of that nature, but I don't think there's really any rookies at all in uh, the whole set. Definitely not in Series 2. So tonight we're chasing insert cards and uh, hopefully find some of these uh, game-to-use relics. And right off the bat, there's AFC. It says, hey, John, curious, what do you drive? <laughs> and it begins. Jonathan H. in the house with the personal questions to make everyone feel uncomfortable. I actually drive a a um a white windowless van from 1985. If that answers your question, <laughs> thanks, Jonathan. We got four participants. We got Ryan F. Top left, top right, Corey J. Bottom left, Joseph B. And Craig B. In the bottom right. <laughs> What's up, Elkin? On everybody else. So let's rip into this and. Uh, <laughs> I noticed these already. These are pretty weird. I've never seen these before, these e-cards. I guess we might as well get these out of the way. Mike5041 says he got junk wax error cards inside. Yeah, white windowless van with cases full 91 Fleer. Shock Chicago, what's happening? Corey, River Ripkins, what's going on? There's a bag well, so kind of a different concept here. One of six authentic e-cards featuring... Griffey, Bonds, A-Rod, Manny, Ripken Jr., and Bagwell. So basically, you have to go online to digitize your card and see if it's an actual auto, which is kind of a cool concept. I've never heard of such black magic and witchcraft here. So, uh, yeah, interesting stuff. There's a Bagwell. Hey, Joe Yankee, what's happening, man? Just looking over some uh, black magic and sorcery in the form of baseball cards. <laughs> Paul says, John driving a window, windowless van hauling a 1990 Topps warehouse. Yeah, it definitely is a chock full of 90 Tops that I will never, ever swim out of. Bonds is the next one. I don't know a thing about these, but I guess I'll go online and try to digitize those later and see uh, what pans out. Kind of weird. But Elkanon says the internet was a super new in 2000, so this was a novelty, and yeah, no doubt about it. So these these uh this box spent the last like three days in my freezer because I think we might need a pickaxe to get these apart. But I'm hoping that I'm wrong. Uh, I'm hoping that uh, there's no paper loss at least. Getting caught up on some comments here before we rip into these. There's Austin Farmer says I was five when this came out, and just got to the USA. LOL. Thanks, Austin. He just moved over in 2000. Ryan F., you're up first. And we got Big Mac in the front here. Let's uh, hope for the best. Chuck Chicago says the Axe body spray. John stinks. Yeah, that was pretty rude of Joseph Baumgarten. Nah, just kidding, Joe. Never opened a pack of these before. Tonight is first time for me. So uh, kind of a cool design. I feel like this is... Kind of typical looking of Upper Deck in like the late 90s. They kind of had the same foil design. But, I mean, they're sticking a little bit, but not too bad. 99 Austin came out of the U.S. Russ Davis. One of the kind of uh, cards that only have the last names in the front here. So we're not going to go through and read all of them. But very thick card stock here. Not really used to that. There's Joe's Card Corral. What's happening, man? Yeah, we're hunting for insert cards again and uh, game use relics. And there's a star rookie card of Rob Bell. 
Hey, Rod White, what's happening, man? David Segui. And we have an insert in the first pack. Wow, All right. maybe it is an insert. I just saw a game used glove from DiMaggio. And um, that's a redemption card. I don't know if you need to send like 200 of these in to redeem that or what it is, but might be one per pack. I'm sure that's probably what the case is. First pack down for Ryan F. There's AFC again. <laughs> it says a windowless white van from 85. So when you mentioned you may move to a different house at some point, you really meant your van down by the river. Oh, that was a good one. You got me there. My windowless van with full 1990 tops that I will burn as kindling to keep me warm down by <laughs> the riverside. Thank you, Jonathan. I should have known what I was getting myself into tonight. Let's see if we can pull some of these uh, inserts. Kelby Overis, name I haven't heard in quite a while. Aaron Seeley, my personal favorite in the early 90s. Polly Junkwax, what's happening, man? Thank you all you guys for being here. Appreciate it. Looks like Alan Bennis and Mike Myers, the star rookie. It looks like he's like 10 years old in that. Joe's card curl says you need to grow a dirty stash before getting in the van. I kind of got one coming in good right now. So Nick Johnson, star rookie. And Juan Guzman. Yeah, I guess yeah, our first insert card is a Jeter. Prime performers. That's pretty freaking nice there. It's getting bummed out because there's another one of these redemption cards for the DiMaggio uh, glove relic. Probably the best card in this insert set, I would say, or one of them. Very cool looking card there. Like that one a lot. Had good luck with the Jeter inserts. The last uh, break we did last week, 96 Ultra, pulled the Jeter insert out of the very first pack. So, nice one, Ryan. Garrison says, I want the Nick Johnson rookie card. And Paul L. says, 1999 Upper Deck football is exactly like this, except it's red, not blue. I'm not surprised. Never seen those ones either. Trash bag pack opening there. Michael Tucker leading off. Joe's card corral says, Britt, will you let John grow a mullet? I kind of already have one coming in. And um, I'm kind of, I mean, I'm kind of proud of it. Big MacGyver fan over here, so the original MacGyver, not that new crap that's on TV now. Andy Pettit. And here is an interesting looking card here. It almost looks like Angry Video Game Nerd. Kyle Peterson. There's a BGO. Let's get to Bernard Gilkey off. Auto. There's a nice Ripken checklist. <laughs> Too bad that couldn't have been in Corey's stack. He's been having pretty good luck in Ripken's lately. And Brad Penny, star rookie. Looks like a serial killer. Yeah, he does. Tony Clark. And looks like Jeffrey Hammonds, who was all the craze back in like 92. And another redemption card for a Juan Marichal jersey. <laughs> Glasses, dude, looks like a yearbook photo. <laughs> it definitely does. So we got three more packs left. There's six packs per stack, 24 packs per box. Jamal says, pull holes rookie this year. Now, he was actually in 2001. And thanks for popping in, Jamal. Some of you guys may have seen the uh, recent friend mail video I did. Jamal sent an awesome package. Thank you again for that, man. Vinny Castilla leading off here. Craig Paquette. And Travis Fryman. Chuck Chicago says, Mullets, where are you in the South? <laughs> With the rest of us. Reindeer Studios, what's happening? AFC on his way out says, Swim lessons mean, or swims le swim lessons gotta go. <laughs> Wanted to get my jabs in. Thanks, man. Appreciate you being here. And you're leaving too early because it looks like we have another insert card in here. And it's not Earl Hershiser, but it's coming up. Jay's Openings. For all you guys that uh, want to get your card fixed tonight, Jay's Openings is going live at 9.30 doing 2001 or 2001 Top Series 1. Searching after some Jay's card. And speaking of Jay's Openings, there's an all-star Big Mac card there. All Upper Deck team. Looks like it's part of the base set, but that's still a pretty cool-looking card. Yeah, he's a shoot over there at 9.30. I'm going to go over there after the stream's over. Wish him luck. Pulling some fire. There's a Bobby Bo. Not used to seeing him in his Braves attire. And we've got our insert card. It's going to be a Manny Ramirez. Pennant driven. That's pretty nice. 
back-to-back -back insert cards, it looks like. Check out that Manny. Very cool. And Carlos Beltran right after him. Very nice. Hot properties. There's a good bit of insert sets uh, that can be found in here. So we're definitely off to a good start, I'd say. Nice Beltron and then a Reggie Redemption card. Definitely a hot pack. Joy of Cardboard. And a decent stack so far for Ryan. We still have two packs left. Joe's card curl says Beltron used to be Eric's boy. Yeah, he definitely did. I don't think uh, Carlos Beltron has too many fans nowadays. Jorge Posada leading off here. I don't know if I said hi to you, Reindeer Studios, or not, but uh, I do see you in here. Appreciate you stopping by. I got caught up in all the chat there. Jeff Cirillo. Dante Bouchette. And uh, Pudge Rodriguez. All upper deck team. It's a cool one. Travis Dawkins. Star rookie. Mike Cameron. And a Babe Ruth final appearance. Relic Redemption. Mike Cameron. Uh, pretty sure Paul L used to be a fan of him back in the day in the 90s. And there's El Canal. Just get some fire, John. Love to see you live. Check out all the other channels in the chat for good content. Tops 2020 Series 1 will be open Friday. Lots of fun for 2020 lines up. Thanks a lot, El Canal. I appreciate that, man. Thank you for being here. So you're ripping Tops 2020 on Friday. If you do a live stream, I'll definitely try to stop by and check that out, man. Thank you again. Check out El Canal if you have not yet. He's right around 500 subs, getting really close. Getting very close. Criterion Racer, thank you. Appreciate that. There is a prime time. Actually, that's Reggie Sanders. Deion Sanders wasn't even playing baseball anymore in 2000. Kind of looked like him, though, a little bit. Mike says Mike Cameron's a better Mariner than Griffey. And there's Ripley for Ripkins. Says, Any Mondeses tonight? And I quit these breaks. LOL, good luck, everyone, and stop by Jay's openings after John's live stream tonight. Corey, thank you, man. I appreciate that. There's a Bonds, Base, and a Chipper, all upper deck team. Terrence Long, star rookie, and no insert card in that pack. Alex Ramirez, and a Mantle game used bat redemption. Yeah, ripping for Ripkins, Corey, he just uploaded a video, what, like an hour ago. Ripping up in some 2018 hanger boxes. If you're not subbed to him, check him out. He's got close to 300 subs getting up there. And uh, that ends the stack out for Ryan F. Some nice inserts in there. Jira's probably my favorite. That takes us on to... Speaking of Corey, he's up next. So good luck to you, man. Hopefully we see some Ripkins in here. It'd be nice to pull the like a game-used Ripkin Relic. Or auto. Yeah, I think Plunk retired right around like 99. First pack in. Trying to read all these. Get caught up here a little bit. Because I missed a lot of people. You can't tell if these are stuck together or not. It's so hard to tell because of how thick the cardstock is. Almost missed one there. I mean, I, did I miss something? I don't think I did. I think I'm caught up. Story Hitchcock from San Diego. AJ Hinch as a Butch Husky. And there's a decent one. Lance Berkman. A couple years in his career. Bronson Arojo and Wasker Serrano. I don't remember him at all. And Babe Ruth Redemption. First pack. <laughs> Austin Farmer. <laughs> I didn't even see you, man. Did you, did you send me a poop emoji? You did. Austin Farmer, thank you, man. I definitely saw your poop emoji now. I appreciate that. Hopefully you enjoyed uh, 
that random mystery card that was in the middle of that team bag that I just sent you. <laughs> you didn't mention it in the email, but I figured that you would enjoy that. Ray Ordonez was uh, kind of a big prospect back in, like, what, 95? Didn't really last very long. The poop was for Beltron. Upper deck always made you work to see uh, what you're getting. There's a Johnny Damon. <laughs> That's what I think of Beltron. <laughs> That's funny, Austin. So we have an insert card come up here. We do. It looks like it's pennant driven. So Pedro Martinez, all upper deck team. Those are really cool looking subset cards. And it's going to be a Pudge Rodriguez. Not a bad one at all. I feel like, I don't know. I don't know if Corey P sees him or not. I know you always put aside Hall of Famers when you get them out of packs and stuff. But uh, definitely a nice one. Pudge insert. Garrison says if you pull an A-Rod, you have all the other steroid players other than Conseco. Mike says my stream glitched out. It sent me back to when you were talking about your van. <laughs> Maybe that's like premonition. Maybe I'm destined to own a 1985 windowless van. Rod, who are we looking for? Primarily just insert cards. Um, going Really going after uh, game news relics. Some pretty high-end ones in here. There's an Alomar. Nice one. Mike Stanley. Joe's Card Corral says it's time for the Yankees to get another title. Joe's Card Corral is an awesome channel, too. I just saw he posted a new video the other day. I didn't get a chance to watch the whole thing, but very, very funny dude from our childhoods. Mark Mulder. Kent Bottenfield. Doug Davis. And Pablo Ozuna. And a Garrick Redemption patch. James Reynolds is kind of hard to see, see the names. I'll try to go slower. So I'm kind of flying through them. Paul L says, Ken Bottenfield makes me cringe. Hopefully you can see him. That foil makes it tough. Yeah, that was a Roberto Alomar. So many yearbook-esque photos in this set. Yeah, I'm trying to look through my phone at the same time, but uh, I'll try to show them so you can see them. Jacques Jones. Early on in his career. This is a Mike Sweeney. Everyone's yelling at me in the chat. <laughs> I'm trying to read these names. Everybody's yelling at me. Austin Farmer again. With the winky face emoji now, I'm sure he is pissed because I missed that for the second time tonight. Austin, you know I love you, man. Thank you very much for that. And all your emoji super chats that uh, I, I somehow overlook. And there's El Canon. This is Austin Farmer's a giant bum who emojis poop when he's feeling frisky. Creepy mofo, but legit. Check the site for fun Friday breaks, friends. Sean, you don't have to take that crap from Austin. <laughs> the literal crap. El Canon, thank you, man. I really appreciate that. I know Elkanon, uh, I think it's been about a week hiatus since he posted his last video, but um, Friday night, looking forward to the Tops 2020 break. Here's Scott Erickson, Roberto Alomar, all upper deck team, and look at this one, People's Choice, Big Mac. That's a pretty awesome looking card. I don't know what it is with uh, Corey getting Maguire cards. I guess it's Fate, because uh, he trades with uh, Jay Hadley, who PCs Big Mac. And I'm probably willing to bet that Jay Hadley doesn't have that one. Pretty freaking nice. Yeah, so definitely check out Elkanon this Friday, Tops 2020 break. What time are you starting that? I'll definitely make sure that I'm there. Let me put these off to the side here for Corey. And Chuck Chicago... Trying to go back here a little bit because uh, a lot of comments flying by. It's tough to read all these when, they, when I can only see four comments at a time. <laughs> it's very, very difficult sometimes. Let me go back. All I see are poop emojis and everything else. From Chuck Chicago with a thumbs up um, emoji. Thank you very much, man. Appreciate that, Carlos. 
and my apologies. Jose Vidro. Nick Baker says, Sandlot on TV, you're busting 2,000 upper deck while I'm busting 88 tops. <laughs> nice. Nice. Yeah, I just saw that, um, what, they're, they are remaking the Sandlot with all the original cast, um, like, in modern, I, I don't know, it's not modern day, I think it might be in the 70s, but, like, they're all grown up now, and I think it's going to be a two-season, um, two-season uh, series on Netflix. It's a big hurt. And uh, Wally joined with those chipper for a second. Paul says, isn't Benny Rodriguez in jail? I know he was, I think, for uh, some point in time. Roosevelt Brown. <laughs> Joe's card cross is stupid. Hollywood has no idea. Dan Schultz, what's happening, man? You know what? I'm actually, uh, I got a new furnace. It's not completely installed yet, but they, they started bringing stuff and doing things yesterday. So finally, after almost four years... Um, I love a new furnace, probably up and running and everything in like the next day or two. There's a Jeter all upper deck team. Very nice one. And five tool talents, Andrew Jones. First time seeing one of those inserts tonight. Yeah. Hollywood ran out of, ran out of ideas years ago and now they're just recycling everything and ruining it. I can definitely relate. Pee Wee Reese game Jersey. El Conce is my favorite set from the Junk Wax era. Is a Ted Williams from 94. I just saw a box of those recently. If you're looking for a box of those El Canon, let me know. Because I want to say the Honey Hole has a box for like 10 bucks, maybe. I think it's 94. It's either 93 94, but I want to say 94. <laughs> Chuck Chicago says, heck yeah, not going to freeze anymore, JJ. Yeah, it's been nice. Like uh, the last two weeks, I've actually had heat every day. So it hasn't shut off like it was for the last couple of years. To shut off in the middle of the night and be 45 degrees. But uh, my buddy slash landlord finally uh, bought a new furnace. So Delana De Shields and Gary Anderson. Brett Tomko. I, could, I, I For some reason, I just think that Brett Tomko would probably make you cringe, Paul. There's Austin against his last... Super chat cash, but since you always miss my emojis, you deserve it, LOL. Also, Elkanon, I'm stealing Legitsky to call John Nat. Stanlot, 234, not Legitsky. <laughs> Austin, thanks, man. Ray Lankford. Yeah, it's, I'm curious to see how it's going to pan out. I mean, I like the, the idea of it, but I, I hate that. I don't know, just like when they did Fuller House, when they brought, when they made Fuller House for Netflix and they had all the, like, the, Modern day pop culture jokes and everything else thrown in there just made me want to freaking throw up. Roger Sedano, another insert card coming up in here is a Pedro Martinez checklist subset card, and it's going to be a Nomar pennant driven. It must not be too hard to uh, pull. Probably like one in five packs somewhere around there. And a Ty Cobb redemption. These these are getting kind of annoying now after seeing some of them. Fuller House was absolute trash. And I, I, I like tried to watch it. Obviously, I liked Full House when I was a kid because it premiered in 1988, and I was four or five years old when the show came on. And um, yeah, I definitely grew up watching it in like the early 90s and stuff. And I don't know, I tried to watch the new show just for nostalgic reasons, and it was absolutely terrible. It was all just like modern day pop culture references to like freaking. I don't know, R&B artists and all kinds of trash. <laughs> it was absolutely terrible. Joseph B. Up next, Corey. A decent stack. Some uh, some okay inserts in there and whatnot. No uh, game jersey cards, but... Ryan Hilton says at least Stephanie was hot. Yeah, she ended up going on to be like a meth addict, I want to say. Addicted to crystal meth, and... I think she pulled herself out of it eventually. She's on the show, but the uh, the Olsen twins refused to go on it. <laughs> I think I think they got the same stuff. Like they got they got real bad in drugs and stuff like that. And not a bad stack at all. Corey is Craig B. Joe's card crosses. Bob Saget is dirty though. If you hear his stand up, yeah, you know what? I uh, the first time I got a taste of how dirty Bob Saget really is was in what was it? Was it uh, Jack movie Jack? Robin Williams? Or was it half-baked? I think it was half-baked. Yeah, where he stands up at that like, PTA meeting or whatever. 
<laughs> I was like, really? Like, I can't picture him saying that. Yeah, it was half-baked. There's Jose Cruz Jr. And I was like, I remember being like horrified by that when I was a kid. Wow. Like, it's got to be like a body double saying that. Like, Danny Tanner would never say that. But uh, yeah, after seeing his stand-up and stuff in the coming years after that, it, you can definitely realize how he could say that. <laughs> WBJ just says the Olsen twins couldn't do the show because they were on a hunger strike. And they, they certainly look like it. And Mike says Lori Lachlan is part of the Topps Jailbird collection. She definitely is. Did she actually get locked up? All those, what was that, Harvard payouts or whatever? Was it Harvard? I can't remember. Some prestigious school, school that they bought their kids way into. Kurt Schilling. This is Mike Piazza. First time seeing him tonight. It's a cool one. Yeah, it was maybe it was some sort of school in Cali. I can't remember. Jim Lairitz, Blacklist. Not. Willie Mo Pena, a name I haven't heard in quite a while. You yeah, haven't watched Half Baked in a while. It's a good one, but uh, I think I like Kingpin better. And now that I'm thinking about it, I want to watch Kingpin real bad. USC LA Collection says, another insert card. Who's it going to be? It's going to be a Conseco. That's pretty awesome. Five tool talents. A lot of Conseco fans still out there. I feel like a lot of guys that are just getting back into the hobby now are all big Conseco collectors. I mean, I feel like most people probably were um, back in the 80s, early 90s. Cool looking card, though. I like that. And the Pee Wee Reese uh, relic. Redemption relic. Elkanon says, I like Half-Baked more than Kingpin, though I like Kingpin. Yeah, they're both great movies, no doubt about it. <laughs> like Joe Yang, says, Kingpin is the official greatest comedy ever. Yeah, my parents, like, never saw Kingpin. I was trying to tell them about it the other day because they, like, I went over there, oh, what is it, this weekend, and they were watching Groundhog Day. My mom, like, loves Groundhog Day. I was like, well, you know, another good movie with Bill Murray besides Ghostbusters is obviously Kingpin. And they're like, well, I've never seen that. Like, Really? Like, you gotta watch it. But they wouldn't like it, though, because they don't like dirty humor and stuff like that, so I think that they would be appalled by it. Same with, like, Dirty Work. Like, Dirty Work is a classic. Not many people know about Dirty Work with Norm MacDonald, Artie Lang. Classic movie from the 90s that I feel like is quite often overlooked, but it is so good. It's uh, Dirty Work is definitely up there, uh, along with Half-Baked and Step Brothers for me. That Will Cordero on the Bucca. I was not used to seeing that. JJ says, Canseco is supposed to play Roy Hobbs in a new natural movie. I didn't even hear about a new natural movie coming out. Beer League was a good one, too. Yeah, Norm Norm was great. There's a Clemens. First time seeing that. Hopefully you guys can see uh, some of these names. I have to hold them on a sideways angle. Wedding Crash was definitely awesome, too. I haven't watched that one in a while. Dean Palmer. On the Tigers. I remember him playing on the Tigers. Interesting. There's Denny Nagel. Austin says, I was or I was watching Step Brothers before class today. That's awesome. The first time I saw Step Brothers, I didn't like it. Uh, I don't know why. I was I was like, that was all right. It wasn't that funny, though. And then uh, watch it again. I was like, what was I thinking? And then hated myself for a while. There's Jay Moyer. Dewey Cox story. You know what? I don't think I've ever watched that one. I always wanted to. Phil Nevin. Seems like the insert card's always the second to last in the pack. And um, Mike Lamb. Ty Cobb, Relic again. 90s guy says, do you keep all the cards you open? These ones um, these ones are actually part of a break, but all the ones that I usually open, like outside of breaks, um, I usually send them off to people or I do keep them. It depends. I'm actually thinking about what I'm going to do next. Um, if I'm going to... How I'm going to donate them, like all the boxes of commons that I'm building up and stuff. El Canon says, have you guys seen Almost Heroes? Yeah, I definitely did a long time ago. Chris Farley. A long time ago. I remember liking it, though. Eric Z says, what's your Patreon name? It's just, uh, it's the passes of life. If you Google it, you should be able to find it. Pretty easy. AJ Burnett. Jim Tomei signing a ball. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I'll have to watch Almost Heroes again. I haven't seen that in quite a while. JJ says he loves 90 Fleer and Don Russ. So if you have something to send them, John. 
Oh, I have plenty. I actually have a case of 90 Fleer. Carl Everett, Brett Saberhagen. <laughs> it's all good, Eric Z. Uh, almost Famous, I want to say, was Farley's last movie. He's also in Dirty Work, too. So if you haven't seen Dirty Work, check it out. Fernando Vina. It is absolutely hysterical. Jay Fredez says, someone uploads clips of Norm McDonald on here on a channel called I'm Not Norm. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, I'd like to go back and watch like his uh, weekend update skits. Those are hilarious. Luis Rivera, star rookie. And Mariano Rivera, that's a nice one. First time seeing that tonight. No insert in that pack, but a nice Rivera for you. You've had good luck with Mo lately, Joe. The last break, the uh, gold medallion in the base. Very nice. We've got three packs left. And then we're going to open an entire case of 91 Fleer. <laughs> Joe says, love my Mo's. I figured you did, man. And uh, I'll have some extras going out to you. And look who it is on the Diamondbacks. <laughs> oh, jeez. That, that is a pretty great card right there. Like, so pissed off in the front and, like, all smiles in the back. Gilkey alert. Brad Fulmer with a scum stash. <laughs> Ethan says, I want a game used Conseco hypodermic needle. <laughs> Mike says, 90 tops. There's an A-Rod. I need PC A-Rod, too. Joe, so just really happy these aren't uh, aren't stuck to the point of paper loss. I was really worried about that. It's a Paul Bird. Looks like we might have an insert card come up here. These ones are hard to hide too. Mike Hampton, Rondell White. There's Craig V. Says I'll buy that case of ninety one Fleet for fifty cents. <laughs> Thanks, Craig. Yeah, for fifty cents you get you get your own personal thirty six pack wax box. 20 boxes. <laughs> That's a Gwen checklist. Thank you, Craig. I will uh, have, I want to say, yeah, Craig has the next spot in this break, so I'm getting together some stuff to throw into your package when it does ship out uh, probably on Thursday. Pennant driven Jeff Bagwell. I'm sure if you're a fan of Bagwell or not, Joe, but uh, that's a cool one. And a Ruth game used bat. JJ says, you should put that box of 90 Fleer in a time capsule and bury it. That's probably the best thing to do for it, honestly. I was just going to sell it. I actually listed it on eBay for like 30 bucks. It seems like people were selling those boxes now for like 10 bucks a piece. There's, it's a case of 90 Fleer. There's six boxes in there. But then like shipping is going to be pretty expensive. But I bought those, I don't know, probably a year ago. I was just buying up a bunch of wax boxes. Like, oh, I'll send this person a pack. I'll send that person a pack here and there. And then I was like, wait, I don't want to send anybody a pack of 90 Fleer. <laughs> I'm not doing that. So I just never opened them. Paul also is burning all Tom Bernanski's. James Reynolds says, was Bagwell better than Biggio? I always thought so personally. I guess you'd have to look side by side the stats to compare them. El says, PSA is finally moving. To where? Todd Zeal. Burn all true play. Paul says, yeah, Biggio played longer, though. That is true. There's a Marquise Grissom. This is like the like the all-star 1990 pack here. Todd Zeal, Marquise Grissom. Craig says, I'll admit it, I have a fresh box of 91 Fleer just itching to be opened. <laughs> Jeez. Todd Hollinsworth. Yeah, I have a... There's Griffey, nice. First time seeing that one. I definitely have a jumbo box of 91 Fleer. I think, I forget where I got it from. I think I bought it out of part of a collection. Jamal says Bagwell was a beast. He definitely was, man. I was. I didn't think he would ever get into the Hall of Fame, so I was pretty happy when he, to hear that he did. Griffey, nice one there for Joe. Todd Walker. Chris Wakeland. And the one Marischal. Arnold Palmer alert. Paul also says Bagwell is one of my favorites. Yeah, I definitely used to PC him back in the 90s. I was always a big fan, too. <laughs> Donate that box to 91 Fleer Science. Last pack for Joseph B. Todd Walker, worst player to ever be on Hall of Fame ballot. Yeah, I think everyone would agree with you on that. Dallas Foster, what's happening, man? I just saw you in here now. 
James Reynolds says, I missed the diversity of cards back when upper deck score Fleer. That's what I'm saying, man. He had a mullet. He definitely did. Dave Roberts leading off here. Brian Rose. <laughs> Gilkey alert. There's no Ma. Regular base card. I definitely PC'd him too in the 90s. I was all about him. And Matt Williams, the Diamondbacks. Looks so weird. I'm not used to seeing that. Bob Wickman. Brad Penny might be the worst to get a vote. As Ray Sanchez. And Song Hoon Lee. Star rookie card. And another insert card. Hopefully we'll have back to back. It's Preston Wilson. So not really a high demand one. But the last time we had two of these back to back. Will we have the same luck this time? We will. Back to backs. Preston Wilson and Pedro Martinez, prime performers. That's pretty awesome, though. This, 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 uh, the design of this card is, of these cards is really awesome. The Jeter was the first pull of tonight, and now Pedro Martinez. So two really awesome Hall of Famers. And it takes us to the Reggie rookie jersey redemption. Not a bad last pack, though. Not bad at all for you, Joe. No Jeter's in there, but that Mo is pretty cool. Some idiot voted for JJ Putts, too. Yeah, those prime performer cards are pretty cool. One last stack. Hate. <laughs> nice inserts. Hate Pedro. That will be on eBay. <laughs> Craig V's up. And there he is. Craig V says, let's pull that jersey card. Preston Wilson should be an excerpt card, not an insert. <laughs> Yeah, I don't, I'm not sure how he made it in that set. Thank you, Craig. Good luck to you, man. Let's see if we can pull some game-used uh, relics out of here. At least one would be nice. Even though their odds are stacked very high against us. This is Mark Grace leading off in a Galavin. You bet, man. Gabe Kapler. I was a big fan of Scott Rowland, too, when he first came on the scene in the mid-90s. Hideki Arabu. And she passed away in, what, in the early 2000s or mid-2000s? I think it was early 2000s. I think he actually committed suicide, now I think about it. There's a Brady. And a big cat. Norm MacDonald made a Hideki Arabu joke once. I never heard that one. I'll have to check that out. I wonder if that's on YouTube. There's a Manny. All of our deck team. Subset card. It's annoying redemption cards. Yeah, he I forget what year he died, but you could Google it. Yeah, I want to say it was it was suicide. On to pack two. Let's see what our odds are in here. We, we usually look over those, but everything's so smashed on here. The Penn Tournament cards, one of four packs. I, th I feel like we've seen the most of those. Prime Performers, one in eight packs. Hot Properties, one in 11 packs. Those are ones that are always with Prime Performers. The Five Tool, one in 11 packs, it looks like. We found a Conseco. And uh, we found another one, too. I can forget who it was. The Jersey Patch cards, one in 7,500 packs. <laughs> That's pretty tough to find. Pretty tough to find. Mud Dog, what's happening, man? Adam Y., how you doing, buddy? Just found a 92 Fleer Ultra Move On in mint condition last night going through old common cards. I thought it was a pretty nice find. That's not a bad one. I used to PC Move On in the 90s. I guess I PC'd a lot of, of uh, guys that ended up being um, accused of PEDs. Carlos Guillen. Is it a Ramos Ramirez? Joe Yanks is a Rabu who hung himself in 2011. That's what I thought. Guys, have to let me know in the comments uh, any kind of boxes you'd like to see ripped open here pretty soon. I think I'm not sure what we'll do next week. Maybe we'll just do a uh, case and not eat Fleer. <laughs> There's a Juan Gonzalez. Just don't ever get used to his Tigers attire. 92 Ultra rookie. Yeah, I know exactly which one you're talking about, Adam. There's Jim Evans. 87 Don Russ, James Reynolds says. I want to say I have a box of those, but uh, 
Jay Hadley is going to be opening those here real soon. Real soon. We have another insert card coming up here. Who's it going to be? It is a Jeter. Nice. Pennant-driven Jeter. Very cool. Was it auto-erotic SS asphyxiation? A Jeter, pennant-driven, and Gabe Kapler hot properties. Not an amazing one for the second one, but uh, the Jeter is definitely very, very nice for you, Craig. Hopefully you're a Jeter fan or a Gabe Kapler fan even. Nice Jeter. Two nice Jeter pulls out of uh, this box so far. Off to a good start in Craig's stack. <laughs> Paul, Gabe Kapler was not a hot property. JJ says 89 tops. Like, they have to could make that happen. They got like six boxes next to me. Like six boxes, 89 Don Ross, and a bunch of other stuff that everyone would probably hate me for. <laughs> Thanks for ruining the pack, Kapler. Any good rookies in the set, James? Uh, not really, man. Not really. I'll have to do a rookie search soon. Um, I might get my hands on a box of 83 Fleer Cello. If you guys want to see that, let me know. Um, it's one I've been thinking about getting. And it's one we haven't done here either. We'll be doing uh, Joy of Cardboard also. He was in here a little bit ago. Um, he is generously donating a box of 94 Bones Best for a future break. And the last Bones Best box, we pulled the Griffey Refractor, which was a freaking awesome one. Bartolo Colon. There's El Canon again. It's his best junk wax channel on YouTube is right here. Tell your friends you can learn what you need to be a legit collector. This dude has it all. Elkin on. Thank you so much, man. That's very nice of you. Very, very nice of you. I appreciate that, dude. I appreciate you being here. Like I said before, Elkin on's getting really close to 500. If you're not subbed to him, definitely check him out. He does, he does a lot of different stuff, too, not just primarily baseball. He switches it up. There's a Bernie. Rico Washington. <laughs> Joe Chicago. <laughs> Brett Boone, Pat Henkin, and the Ruth Redemption. <laughs> Jamal says John Jazz for president 2020. Yeah, it'd be a different world. It would be a different world then, man. My slogan would be make junk wax great again. Get that tattoo to my chest. <laughs> we reprint junk wax era cards. There would be no 2020 tops. It would just be all rediscovered tops cards from the 90s. <laughs> Tim Wakefield. I've been stoked to pull that one back when I was a kid. This is a Chipper Jones. First time seeing him, an MVP card. Make Junk Wax great again. Shirts will be coming soon. Be sure to check that out. There's James Reynolds. Says, I support that. <laughs> Thanks, man. Get me on the ballot. Be doing that real soon. Build a wall to 90 tops. <laughs> Rediscover John Udeck. Joe's Card Corral. You'll definitely be in the cabinet. Kevin Apier. There's a Matt Lawton. And a Big Mac checklist for Jay Hadley. Chuck says John's Wax Shop. Adam Wise says Joe, just have your old lady choke you where you're <laughs> Somebody mentioned that earlier. Victor Santos and prime performer Sean Casey. Probably not a uh, real desired one by most people. But uh, I would take that over Preston Wilson, though. Still a cool one. Victor Santos sucked. Elkanon. You could be in the cabinet as well as the uh, head of Pokemon. Because I don't know nothing about it. Austin Farms says John's presidential portrait will be a Frank Thomas. <laughs> Sean Casey got thrown out running the first base. Pokemon Master. That's it. Yeah, I missed that. Uh, I missed what you said earlier, Elkanon, about what time you're starting your break because the comments were flying by. I definitely want to be in there for it. I haven't seen any 2020 tops. I watched a little bit of Hard R Cards. Um, he opened, what, uh, one box today, I think? I started watching a little bit before the live stream just to get a feel for what the card looks like and the design. It looked exactly like I thought it was going to look like. <laughs> Joe Yankee. <laughs> That's funny. 
Ethan says, I'll run for president right after the G.I. Joe video. I like that. I set the bar high there. 90s guy says, well, I just checked eBay. I was going to buy some 85 Fleer, over 200 bucks a box. Yeah, 85 boxes are definitely going for a lot of money. I wanted to do 85 Fleer, too, a little while ago. And they were, they were over 200 bucks like six months ago when I checked. There's a nice Griffey all upper deck team. 85 tops. Um, I might do a box of those someday here. I, I missed my chance on the box of those recently. And they seem like they're going for like over 300 bucks now. Looks like we've got a Mets card coming up here. Who's it going to be behind the kid? It's going to be a Piazza. That's a nice one. Have not seen one of those yet. Cooperstown Calling. The refractor shine to it. Big finish here, Craig says. You got one pack left still, too. That's definitely a nice one. I have no idea what the odds of that are. Jamal says Piazza. Yeah, it is definitely a nice one. It's no Sean Casey, but it's a Piazza. Let's see here. Where are we at? Cooperstown calling one in 23 packs. So that was our max for the box. One right there. Definitely a nice one. <laughs> Jay says, John, one of the platforms you can run on is free junk wax insurance for everyone. I love that idea. That's a great idea. Together, we're going to make junk wax great again. There is prime time. So he was still playing in 2000. <laughs> All the cheese John can handle. I'd have it all over my shirt then. There's a Baines. This is our last pack. I see an insert in here. Let's hope for a good one. Because after this, we're diving into this whole case of 91 Fleer. I'm going to I'm gonna uh, shuffle through all the cards like this too. One at a time. Let's move on. Getting down to the nitty gritty. Kazuhiro Sasaki. Star rookie. Played baseball till 01. Paul L. always has the lowdown on everybody. I love it. Paul L. is like the baseball card, baseball player, Wikipedia, in human form. It's great. Jarrett Wright and Sosa, all upper deck team. Last card is going to be, it looks like it's pennant driven again, the most common of them all. And it's a Roto Almar. So not a bad one, Robbie Almar. I wish it could have been a Sandberg for you. Craig, but uh, some nice inserts overall. Definitely the Jeter is probably my favorite out of your stack. There's Jay's opening. This is great rip as usual, John. Uh, what time is it? Jay's going live here in like 10 minutes. So if you're not subbed to him, click on that name next. Uh, click on his uh, comment there and go over his channel. He's going to be live any minute now. I'm going to shoot over there. and He's doing 01 tops. Like I said, sub to Elkanon, Rippy for Ripkins, all those guys. Make sure you sub up to them. And drop them some love and support. That's all I got for you guys tonight. Um, the 91 Fleer box or case will be postponed until next week. So I appreciate you guys all for watching. You guys are awesome. Um, I'm not sure what we're doing next week. But if you want to leave me a comment down below. Uh, some things. Recommendations of boxes you'd like to see ripped open. I will definitely check them out. And see what I can do. I'm going to go and see if I can find myself a digital auto. Here. <laughs> All right, thanks, guys. I'll see you.